One, two, three. Hello. Is this thing on? I need a, a, a title. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Hello. I'm Georgie, and this is my show, Bible Stories with Georgie. Hey, Ron. Did Mom say you could use her phone? Yes, I'm making a video to teach other people about the Bible. Like anybody's gonna watch your little kid videos. See you later, YouTube. You don't have to be so mean about it. Don't call me YouTube. My name is Georgie. That was my big brother. He tries to show off when his friends are here. He's usually pretty nice for a big brother. Well, okay. For my first video, I'm gonna tell the story of um, oh, I know. Let's start at the beginning. I'm going to tell the story of Genesis. That's right. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. <laughs> That's the very first Bible verse I ever memorized. I can, I can do it all by myself every time now. Now, it's time for the story. can't actually read all the words. But I know it from heart, just from going to Bible class. So, here it goes. Once upon a time, or wait, no, it doesn't start that way. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I've, I already said that part, right? So, basically, God started making everything. But he didn't have any stuff to work with. So, he just set it and whammo, it was there. You know, <laughs> it's pretty neat. So, first... He says, it's too dark in here. I need some light. And then he says, let there be light. And whammo, there was a light. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hang on. I got, I got, I got something to show you. I'm going to get this off my dad's shelf real quick. Check this out. Isn't this cool? Watch. Oh, how does this work? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That, that's it. <laughs> I better put that back real quick. Whew, that was bright. Yeah, that was a light. So, okay. The next part is um, God made day and night. That's right. That was the first day. Day and night. On the second day, he made the sky and water. Yep. Day three... Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. He made the water parts and the dry parts and the vegev. Ve Hang on a second. Mom! Vegetation. That's right. I can't spell that word. I can spell superfluous. Yeah. S-U-P-E-R-F-L-U-O-U-S. Superfluous. It, it means unnecessary or not needed. Like... My brother's opinion is superfluous. <laughs> I learned that on TV. Yep. Okay, so... What, what day am I on? Do you remember what day I'm on? Is it day one? No. Day two? No, I did that. Day three? No, what? day four. That's right, I'm on day four. All right. On day four, he made the sun and the moon and all the stars... And then God looked at everything he had made so far, and he said it was good. Yeah. Do you know God loves you? He does. Sometimes we forget when our brother is being mean, or it rains on our field trip, or our vacation gets canceled because of a stinking virus. But God loves us. He does. But even with all of that, I know that I'm special just because God loves me. Do you know he loves you, too? Okay, okay. Back to the story. What day was I on? Oh, right, right, right. Day five. On day five, God put the fishies in the sea and the birds in the sky. Hey, you know, I had a, a fish one time. Yeah, it got flushed because it died. My brother tried to give it a drink of his Dr. Pepper. Apparently, fish don't like Dr. Pepper. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, so... On day six, God made all the animals on the land. Yep, he made dogs and cats and elephants and 
kangaroos and aardvarts and uh, rhinoceroses. And, and he made man and woman, too. That's right. We called them Adam and Eve. That's right. Do you know what he did on day seven? Nothing. He was finished. Yep, the Bible says he rested. Mom says Adam and Eve were God's first kids. And kids make you want to have to take a nap. Well, I don't know about that. But God did rest. He took a rest. I hate naps, by the way. Just thought I would let you know. Well, that's it. In six days, God made everything and then he rested. Mom says that Bible stories aren't like the once upon a time stories that I like to read. They really happened. They did. All we have to do is look around the world and see the amazing things God made. There's trees and birds and flowers and rains and bugs. Mom doesn't like my bugs, especially when I forget to take them out of my pockets. <sighs> anyway, it's time for me to go. It's almost lunchtime, and I love that part of God's creation. Well, we'll see you later on Georgie's Bible Stories. Er, Bible Stories of Georgie. Er, maybe Super Stories of Georgie. I gotta figure out my name. Anyway, have a great time. We'll see you next time. Bye!